don't have a just strength anymore. Maybe they can kidnap you, they sell you to China or somewhere. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, sell you to China or somewhere. And I, I was so scared. I have no idea about I work. I was a stubborn girl, very stubborn. But I'm so listen listen to their advice and I never talk to strangers. And that's why in another city when I got lost, I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't ask for help from anyone. And when I passed the small market, uh, some shopkeeper, some sell, um, and they were, you know, they were in the in the small in the, in the mass small market. Some women, they asked me, "Hey, little girl, please come here. We will help you to help your help you find your mom." Because I was uh, crying and screaming that where's mom, and uh, they want wanted to help me, but. I said, no, you are bad people. Please don't come closer to me. I just want to find my mom by myself. Please don't say anything. But they still keep, um, you know, advising me that uh, please come clo closer to them and they will help me. But no, I keep running, keep running, keep running around the supermarket, around the street. Because I have no idea where's the library where my brother is working. Well, uh, in there, in there, and I couldn't find him or even my mom, of course. Then I still keep running um, to the big street and back come back home. No one's home. I still I keep going and to the center of the city and keep and back home something like that and over and over the street. And I was exhausted maybe four or five hours in, until the afternoon. I was exhausted. I just a uh, uh, seven years old little girl, so you know no strong, no strength. But I just uh, crying and running and um, I wanted to ask uh, the officer for help but I have no idea what I didn't dare to, say, to talk to anybody because they were always so strange their voice, their dialect so strange and I cannot hear anything from them it's just something very simple I can hear and maybe 2 or 3 in the afternoon I you know, came out, came out with a disease Maybe it's crazy. I come to the very big streets where the supermarket on the right and some bookshop, some very crowded. And I stand in the in the center of the road. I scream, Mom, where are you? I just crying and, uh, and everyone looking at me. And you know, uh, and maybe they still wanted to help me, but I, I have no idea. I call for help, but I don't want to come closer to anyone. And then I come to the corner on the pavement and I sit down. I was so so tired. I sit down and keep crying, keep calling my mother's name. Uh, but then maybe a half an hour later, as a miracle, my mom came from the corner and I cry and I uh, scream, scream so loud. Mom, I'm here! And she came and she hugged me and I hugged her so tight that like I never can hug her tighter. And I cried a lot of course and she asked me, Oh, why are you running so fast? I can't, I couldn't find you. Where have you been? And I told her the whole story that I came back and I came to the center, came back from the center of the city. And she said, What did what didn't you ask for help? Uh, people around really wanted to help you. And they say, no, you told me that, don't ever believe in strangers. So I didn't talk to anyone. And she said, oh my god, you're a stubborn girl, but why are you so obedient today? And then she <laughs> took me home. And when passing the market, the small market, some women say, oh, your daughter is so stubborn. We just wanted to have her now, but she refused our help. And she just uh, ran into the uh, road and screamed, Where's mom? But she didn't ask for help. So why could we help her? And my, uh, my mother just smiled, thank them for uh, wanting to help me. And she said to me, sometimes you should trust people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not every stranger is bad. They just wanted to help you to help to find me out. And they say, uh, but you told me that, and I just want to listen to you because being a good child is listening to parents' uh, advice. And I, I think it was crazy when I came to the, you know, 
center of the world and I scream so loud. I don't know what anyone to help me. I have no idea. But um, yeah, the maybe uh, at the end of the story, uh, most of you will think that what I can learn from this story is I love my mom much. But no, I love her for my whole life, not just after that event. But I think sometimes crazy courage when you just come into the rock and you scream is easy, easier for you to you know get what you want and yeah sometimes you trust people stranger is sometimes good <laughs> yeah that's my whole story Woo!